Efforts to restore the four-star theater in Grand Rapids are taking a big step forward. News 8's Demetrius Sanders has the details on the next phase of the renovation. Well, just about a year ago, the Four Star Theater's doors were reopened, and now the community is celebrating a new milestone, phase two of the restoration project. At one point in its, in its life was a concert venue where Hall of Fame musicians would play, and we think it can be that again. In 2017, Marcus Rinalda purchased a Four Star Theater on South Division Avenue near Burton Street. His plans transforming the theater that was built in 1939 into a cultural arts venue. What we're trying to design and build here is a place that can host 200 events a year of, you know, everything from worship services to stage productions to concerts and, and community meetings. After investing thousands of dollars to get the venue opened, the restoration is now moving into phase two, which will cost a million dollars and has a timeline of around six to nine months. That is supporting the work you see going on behind me. A full historic renovation of our lobby, and then there's bathrooms that are getting upgraded. Phase two will also see the theater's roof replaced and its marquee renovated. Last year, the Kent County Board of Commissioners approved a $500,000 ARPA grant for the project, and now now Lowe's Hometowns program is pitching in. It's a five-year program where they're granting $100 million uh, to local communities around the United States. The Four Star Theater is receiving $100,000 through the program, and Lowe's staff is also helping push the project forward. By volunteering time, um, by supplying products, getting them, you know, making that $100,000 go as far as possible. The entire restoration is expected to cost around $5 million, and Rinalda says good progress is being made, but there's still work to do. We've got a green room we've got to build. We've got to activate our upper floor and basement, so this, this phase two is an important milestone. Um, but the sustainability and the success of this is really, um, it's still reserved for the future, and we're hoping to make that a reality sooner than later. Now, depending on funding, Rinalda says he is also hopeful that Phase 2 will grow. In Grand Rapids, Demetrius Sanders, News 8.